So you guys have just jailbroken your phones using the latest Electra jailbreak for 11.2 to 11.4 and you're wondering what tweaks to get. There's a lot of choice, I know, you may be overwhelmed. So in this video, let me make your choice a little bit easier. What is up guys, my name is Benji and these are my top 10 jailbreak tweaks for iOS 11.2 to 11.4. Let's jump into the video. So the first tweak I'm going to show you guys is not on my iPhone 10, but on this iPhone SE right here. So this tweak is called Fluidity. And if you've not already heard of this tweak, this basically adds iPhone 10 gestures to older iPhones that don't have that OLED display and of course all the iPhone 10 features. So for example, if we open up an app here and you swipe up, it will go home. And then you also have your control center right up here uh, and it works just like an iPhone 10. Everything is like an iPhone 10 pretty much. So, so as you can see here on the home screen, you can swipe up and you've also got your control center on here. You also have these buttons and you also have the camera toggle here and everything is just like an iPhone 10, which is super, super neat. And this tweak, I must say, works really, really well. It, you also have the multitask app switcher here and everything. And it's a really, really cool tweak. If you don't have an iPhone 10 and you want to have all of those gestures and everything, Fluidity is the tweak for you. This is a free tweak and I will drop the repo in the description below. Now, this next tweak here is called cylinder and basically it's a tweak that will add these cool scrolling animations to your home screen so you can also jump into the cylinder settings here if I can find them here we go and you can actually go into effects and there's a bunch of different effects you can choose from so you can select a bunch of random ones and if you go to the home screen you'll have different scrolling effects every time you scroll which is really really neat you can also turn on randomize here so you will get random effects every time you scroll which is my favorite setting because you don't know what you're gonna get and honestly this tweak is pretty cool and another awesome thing about this tweak is that it is free and the repo is already pre-installed on Cydia. It's the Big Boss repo. I will drop it in the description below just in case you may not have it on your Cydia. This next tweak is for Cydia and it's called Flame. And basically what Flame will allow you to do is it adds a couple of cool features to your Cydia. So one pretty cool thing you can do is you can actually add multiple sources in one go or even copy and paste them by tapping on batch mode here. So when you have copied a repo you can actually immediately paste it in here without having to tap paste or anything and it will add your repo right here which really really saves you the hassle of having to go into the app like kind of memorizing the repo and then putting it in Cydia it's kind of a hassle uh, but as you can see now we have added the repo and you can install tweaks just like normal and you also get a couple more cool features with flames so you can basically go into a tweak here and you can actually share it straight from Cydia so you can share the link and everything that's pretty neat and if we jump into the flame settings here you actually have a bunch of more features that you can mess about with those are just a few which i just sh showed you but you can do a lot you can actually have refresh so you can refresh your sources by actually just going into sources and pulling down and it will refresh all of your sources which is pretty neat and yeah you have literally a bunch of stuff you can also export all of your packages repos and all that kind of stuff so so if you do have any issues with your jailbreak you can actually export your full tweak list and send it to the developer that's helping you or something and if you want to get flame this tweak is free in Cydia and I think it is on one of the main repos I will link the repo in the description below just in case but I highly recommend it and if you guys want to check it out feel free to do so and I highly recommend it if you want to add more features to Cydia now this is another one of my favorite tweaks of all time Time. This is called Bouncy 10 and as you can see it adds a bit of a bouncy animation to when you go into different menus. Now this doesn't just apply in settings, it works in a few more different apps which of course not all the apps will work but some do and this is, it doesn't have full iOS 11 support just yet. It's still just iOS 10 but it does work pretty well regardless and I honestly like it a lot. It's pretty cool that you get these cool effects when you jump into different settings. And if you want to go ahead and get Bouncy 10, it is free and it is on the Big Boss repo. And if it isn't, then I will drop the repo in the description below. But it's free 
really cool tweak and I highly recommend it if you want your animations to bounce like this because I do and they look pretty cool. This is another one of my favorite tweaks. It's called color banners and basically it will color all of your banners for notifications in the color of that app. So as you can see, it looks very, very nice. It gives your phone a standout look and honestly, it is pretty cool. This doesn't just apply to the lock screen. It also applies to when a notification comes in. You can also change stuff in the settings here. So you can go into your banners here. You can choose it to be a gradient. You can use constant colors. You can also kind of like adjust the background and everything. And you can also test it. So as you can see, if you if we increase it here, it'll also, of course, appear on your lock screen and notification center. So you won't see those old ugly gray notifications anymore if you get color banners too. Now this tweak does cost. And unfortunately, you can't actually purchase anything in Cydia as of yet. And this is definitely a tweak to add to the list for when you can actually make purchases within Cydia. So this next tweak is called color badges. Now, similar to color banners, this actually involves coloring parts of your UI and stuff. So basically this will eliminate all of those red app notification icons and it will replace them with colored ones. So as you can see here for mail, we actually have a blue notification badge, which is pretty cool, which matches the color of the app icon. And we also have the settings here, which matches the app icon. We also have Twitter in here and it also does come with a couple of settings here. So you actually have borders. You can add a border around the notification badge and also you can use legacy borders. I'm not 100% sure what those are. So you can do a couple of cool things from within here, which I actually really like. And I'll link the repo and everything in the description below so you guys don't have to worry about it. But it's a pretty cool tweak and honestly, it's worth the price if you like coloring your app badges. Well, not coloring because you can't really choose. This next tweak is another really, really cool tweak. This is called Eclipse X and you have seen it in this video already and you've seen it me feature it in a couple of other videos. It's basically a system wide dark mode for your iPhone. Now this works really, really well on the iPhone 10. As you can see, it displays those true blacks and it really, really works well system wide. It works in the phone app. It also works in the app store, I think. Yep, it works in the app store as well and it works in a lot of different apps. It's definitely pretty cool and I do recommend it if you're one of those people who would like to have a dark mode on their iPhone, then you can just bypass Apple and get the dark mode early just using this tweak. Now this tweak isn't free. I will drop the link to the repo in the description below and also the price and everything. And I also may have a free code for you guys. So be sure to check the description and be the first one to check in the description because you may be able to get it for free. This is another really cool tweak. This only works on the iPhone 10, I believe. I, I could be wrong, but this is called battery percent X and it will basically add the battery percentage to your status bar instead of that ugly battery symbol where you have to slide down and open the control center to actually view how much percentage you've got. Very inconvenient, right? You could bypass that by getting this tweak and it doesn't just show the battery percentage. It also has a couple more cool features here. So you can double tap to enable low power mode. So right now we've got low power mode enabled as you can see there, and you can double tap again to disable it. And you can also tap and hold on here and it should, yep, yeah, there we go. It will ask you to respring and everything. And it's pretty cool. We can also go into the battery percent X settings here and you also have a bunch more settings here. So you can actually enable a custom color for your battery percentage there, which is very cool. And there's literally a bunch of different stuff. You can also enable a battery bar here, which I'm not sure what that does. I'll have to mess about with that later. But this really, really is a super cool tweak for the iPhone 10, especially if you're one of those people who wants to know how much battery life they've got on demand without having to open the control center. Now this tweak I believe is free and it is using another repo. So I will link that repo in the description below as well as the price if there is any. And yeah, let's move on to the next one. This is another really cool cool tweak, which I think you guys will enjoy. It's called Lock Plus Pro. And if my phone doesn't unlock here, I will be able to show you guys. And um, basically it will add a widget to your lock screen. So you can add any widget you want. You have a load of options. So if we go into the settings here and we go into Lock Plus Pro here, you actually have a bunch of different settings within here. So as you can see, you all can also add animated lock screen widgets, which are really, really cool. And you can also hide a bunch of stuff on the lock screen. So as you can see here on my lock screen, I have removed the clock, the stock clock, and also the lock button here. And it works really well, as you can see. And basically how this works, if we turn off disable lock plus pro interaction, you can actually slide down on the lock screen, actually lock screen here. Uh, you can actually tap on themes here. 
and you can go into all and you actually have a load of different themes to choose from right here as you can see there's a load of them you can also select this one for example and you can download it and stuff and there's literally loads there's thousands i think to, to choose from and you can also go into the fresh menu here if it opens up and these are all the fresh themes that you haven't actually seen scrolling down which is pretty cool there's literally a ton you can have the perfect look on your lock screen and this tweak honestly works so so well you also have a few more settings in the settings here so you can also enable face down to lock so when you put your phone face down it'll actually lock you can also disable the lock screen paging so you won't actually be able to slide for the camera and that kind of stuff and there's literally a load of stuff you can do from within here which is really really cool now log plus pro isn't cheap it's ten dollars to have access to this developer's repo but you get access to a bunch of other tweaks he makes and there's a load of different widgets and stuff you can actually get from, not just for lock plus pro but for zen html and a bunch of other tweaks and i highly recommend it ten dollars isn't that much if you think about it because there's a load of tweaks on there and honestly who wouldn't pay ten dollars to be able to tweak their lock screen and get it to look this good this is another classic tweak which everybody has to get if they want to jailbreak and they want to make their phone look unique this is called anemone now anemone is a tweak made by coolstar the one who made this jailbreak and basically you can theme your device so as you can see my icons here aren't really stock ios like on this phone here which is really really cool so if we go into the anemone settings here i've installed a bunch of different themes which you can actually install yourself by going onto Cydia and installing them and you can also enable fonts here I haven't really managed to get mine to work for some reason I've tried all the ones I've got here and none of them work uh, but that's probably because I'm on 11.4 and basically how you enable a theme you just tap on enable then you tap preview and you will actually see a preview here they have updated it for the iphone 10 and i i have to complain about this uh, thing here this is not an iphone 10 look, like look at the notch look at the bezels they look ugly cool star what are you doing anyway uh you can tap apply here and it will apply the theme without you actually needing to respring which is pretty cool and yeah this this tweak has been working fine for me i've used it for the past like 24 hours and i've not had any issues with it i haven't had it respring or anything like that it's a really cool tweak and it is free which is a super cool thing and i will link it in the description below anyway guys that about brings an end to this video if you enjoyed this top 10 tweaks video and you want to see more of these make sure to smash that like button down below if you didn't for some reason enjoy this that other button works as well and of course let me know what your favorite tweak is in the comment section below and of course if you're new around you and you haven't already be sure to smash that subscribe button as i upload videos every wednesday and saturday and also live stream every monday and friday so also don't forget to ring the bell so then you'll be notified every time i upload a video you can get to them early and you won't miss an upload but for now guys thank you so much for watching this has been benji from ben Obi tech and i'll catch you guys in the very next video